Okay, so I'm Lisa Friedman, and um, Herman and I have had Enterprise Development Group, or EDG, together for 30 plus years, along with some other partners. Um, so we're co-founders of that. We're based in Silicon Valley, and um, I've worked in sustainability. So right now we're focusing a lot on climate. Our work typically has been about looking into the future and connecting people around what are the transformations in their industry across any number of industries. So we've been strategic innovation consultants and trainers and program developers, often with companies that we would work with for years. So um, we have, you know, out of that work, if you really look into the future and you look at it seriously, you ran straight into sustainability challenges. So probably at least since the 90s, our work has been up to 30% on that. I ran a speaker series at Stanford um, on the business and sustainability breakfasts. Um, with leaders around Silicon Valley. We did workshops, we've done sustainability tours where you would go to see different companies, to see different parts of innovation um, around different elements of sustainability that needed to be done in companies. And now we're just looking much more at climate as being the most urgent side of sustainability and trying to do as much of the work, strategy work that we can. Sometimes people are still coming in around digital solutions, but they learn about climate while they're there as well, because they both, the digital transformation and the climate transformation are happening simultaneously. So, but our hearts and passions right now lie in climate because it's so urgent. Um, so with this particular, what I understand about this is that we'll speak for about 45 minutes. Um, so we've been doing things that it's kind of scalable, right? So we do things that can be a talk with discussions and small group discussions. We've done things that are multiple sessions. We do things that are more in depth, so it can be so, you know, so this is that introductory um, overview of what the issues and, are. So and we'll what will you be speaking, what will you be speaking on? The, the, uh, the orientation is basically back to what I said around the first responders or the capacity to actually step in is that humanity historically has had moments where we pioneer into territories we did not understand, be it the moon, be it, you know, the, the movement out of Europe into into America. And so how do we unleash this kind of pioneer spirit? So uh, one title that we've been playing with is the idea of unleashing the pioneering spirit, three practices for the regenerative era, right? So that it's, it's oriented to, it's basically saying to the audience, we're gonna get you to a place where you're gonna learn three fundamental practices required for you to step in. Right? Who would you, who's the ideal target audience that we want to talk to? The audience would be um, leaders who have, I mean, we need these climate solutions to happen from company leaders, from city leaders, from government leaders. So I would say any of those kinds of leaders or even people who are looking at startups can might enjoy being there as well and hearing about what the company needs are. But it's primarily, this one is primarily for company for people who are in company or city or government kinds of leadership roles, even I, I love the heading that Jan's just uh, spoken about uh, or written about in the chat. It's venturing into the unknown again. Yeah, venturing cool. into the unknown what? Venturing. venturing into the unknown again. Great, you know yeah. that. So that that plays off of this idea a little bit, right? That that's that's the idea. Is exactly that is. Those were pretty amazing moments in humanity, right? And and so, I would here... actually put in this that it's three practices for building the regenerative era. So this is actually okay. in terms of the the climate action. We're in a lot of groups that are about learning about climate and educating yourselves. This is about you're educating yourself and you're getting practices for building, for creating into this space, for making these new solutions happen at scale, as big as possible, as fast as possible, so that all of the people who are there can begin thinking about what's their own role, what potential do they have, what are the groups they can lead across these curves, you know, like I have this group, this many people, this kind of budget, how can we create into this new emerging space, um, because it's urgently needed for all of us. 